Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. So today I am getting ready for Thanksgiving. We are doing Thanksgiving at our house and my mom is going to be here. So actually my mom comes up on Friday. So we're actually doing Thanksgiving on Saturday this year. So I'm getting everything prepared now. I, and I wanted to show you guys what I do to get ready for Thanksgiving. Because we usually do have Thanksgiving over here. It's Christmas that kind of gets moved around for us to different houses. But um, Thanksgiving is usually over here at our house. So this year I'm cooking everything. And because I want to, because I like cooking, I am doing it from the Pioneer Woman, A Year of Holidays. So I really, really love this cookbook. It goes through all different holidays, Easter, Father's Day, um, Mother's Day, what else we got? Cinco de Mayo, I already said Easter, Valentine's Day. So like all the different holidays, she has a menu, different things you can make. For Thanksgiving, I went through, I'm not gonna make everything that she has because we like a few different things. There's just some things that I wanted to change, but for the most part, we're put, everything that I'm making is from her, from that book. So what I like to do first is write out a menu. So I wrote down my menu. You guys, I write really small. I actually used to get in trouble in school for writing so small, but here's my menu. <laughs> oh, it's so little. Here's my menu. There we go. I'm not doing the turkey. Robert's dad is doing the turkey. He wants to fry one. I said, go for it. You have fun. Um, I'm gonna do a ham, because I like ham. I really don't like turkey. For those of you, leave me in the comments below. Are you a turkey person or a ham person? Um, I just don't like turkey. It's just, I don't know, I just don't really like it that much. Um, I really prefer ham. So we're gonna be doing a ham as well. And then after I write down my my menu, I went ahead and wrote down my game plan. Um, she has a game plan written in the book, which really makes it sound like it's gonna be fairly easy. Well, I wanna say easy, but it helps with time management. So here's my game plan. I'm actually gonna start cooking on Thanksgiving because remember we're doing this on, we're doing our Thanksgiving on Saturday. So on Thursday, I'm gonna make the cranberry sauce and then I'm gonna make and freeze the, the pie crust for um, the two different pies that I'm gonna make and I'm gonna chop the pecans for the pie. So I'm gonna be making a pumpkin pie and a pecan pie. And then it kind of just goes on, like Friday I have stuff to do and then Saturday I start doing everything. So there's a few different things that you can make ahead and then just put it in the fridge, like the potatoes. Um, you make the day before you make the cornbread for the stuffing, you go ahead and chop up your vegetables, things like that. So game plan written, then after the game plan is written, then I printed out all the recipes. Um, so you can actually find her recipes that I'm using on her blog, which is um, thepioneerwoman.com. So I printed them all out, so I have them on hand. It's just gonna be easier to do it that way than to be looking through the book. Then I write down everything that it calls for. Like I write down um, my shopping list. So I write down everything, even if I think I have it in the cupboard, in the cupboard, who am I? Even if I think I have it like in the cabinet, I will write it down because I go through and I check just to make sure. I kind of break it up into sections. So I have produce, dairy, canned, spices. On the back I have packaged and bread items. So I have all that written down. Um, now for the next thing is I have to clean out the fridge because there needs to be room for all this food. And right now, there's no room. So I gotta go through, throw out a lot of stuff. Um, I really need to get better at not buying so much like a week or two before Thanksgiving or big holidays because then I just end up throwing away stuff to make room in the fridge that maybe doesn't need to be thrown away. Anyway, there's a lot of stuff in there that does need to be thrown away though. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And yeah, Magnolia just went down for a nap. Um, so hopefully she'll sleep good so I can get this done. And then when she wakes up, we can go grocery shopping. Yay! That was 
was easy. It took like five minutes. So I really got rid of things that probably, like they probably could have been okay, but I need room in the fridge. So, cause I'm cooking for, I think like 13 adults. So I'm gonna be having a lot of stuff in the fridge and a lot of ingredients um, and then a lot of prepared things. So I need my space. So now that the fridge is cleared out, I have space, I have space to put things. Yeah, I'm just gonna put this trash outside. Um, oh, I gotta put this back in the fridge. I don't know that I'm gonna use these peppers. Robert doesn't like, I forget which color, but there's a color pepper that he doesn't like, apparently. Um, he just now is telling me this. So, um, yeah, so that's done. Magnolia is sleeping. I'm going to try to clean up the house a little bit while she's sleeping and get her diaper bag ready so when she wakes up, we can go grocery shopping. Okay guys, so we are in the car. Magnolia is in the back, all strapped in, and we are headed to Aldi. I'm, I'm going to go to Aldi first and get whatever I can and whatever else is left over. Um, I'll either go to Bilo or Publix, maybe Walmart, um, to get the rest. And Robert is meeting us because that is gonna be a lot of groceries and with Aldi, the way they do it, it's hard for me to pack everything up in the car. So Robert is meeting us over there. He is just not getting off work. It is like the end of the day. So yeah, let's head on over to Aldi. Do you even like cranberry sauce? Yeah, I do. You do? Yeah. I don't like cranberry sauce. You don't? It's no. so good. It's kind of like the, what is it called? Ligonberry sauce that you get at Ikea, put on the meatballs. Oh. Okay. Let me know in the comments, do you like cranberry sauce at Thanksgiving time or any time, I guess? Um, this guy does not like cranberry sauce. I don't know. I just, I guess I don't like the texture mainly. Hey babe. Can you make cranberry sauce the same texture as macaroni and cheese? No. <laughs> okay, so Kaylin and I are having a bit of a spat right now and I need you guys to leave in the comments below and help me win this argument. Okay, so the story is I went to Panera Bread today and I thought, okay, I'm gonna buy something really, really cheap. And guess what I bought? I got a drink and a bagel. So on what planet and on what earth would you, as a reasonable human being, think that a bagel is expensive? Kaylin told me I should check the price before I buy anything, and yes, as a rule of thumb, yes, you should check the price before you buy anything at all. And did I mention it's a bagel? I don't even like bagels. Like, I only ordered it because I thought it was gonna be cheap. Tell them how much my bagel and drink was today at Panera Bread. $6. How much? $6. Six freaking dollars. Six dollars, guys. I could have gone to Subway and got an entire sub for six dollars. So like I said, Kaylin said I should have looked at the price, and yes, I should have looked at the price, but please, on God's green earth, why would I ever think a bagel, one bagel, would cost four dollars and fifty something cent? Why? I just showed you entire packs of bagels for a dollar forty over there, and I bet those bagels are ten times better than that nasty bagel I had at Panera Bread. Let me know in the comments if there's anything you ever got up to the register, rang it up thinking, oh, this has got to be dirt cheap, and it became, and it actually turned out to be something ridiculously pricey. Alright guys, so I snagged the camera away from Robert. 
Enough of his ranting about bagels. I've been hearing about it all day. I have a question for you. What is your favorite side dish for Thanksgiving? My favorite is stuffing. <laughs> That's my favorite. Um, if you have a favorite, leave it down below. Robert, Robert what's your favorite? Uh, I really like stuffing a lot. Is it side dish? Are we talking about side dishes? Yeah. I really like stuffing, but I also really, really like um, sweet potato casserole. Yeah. So. I really like green bean casserole. <laughs> Lots of casserole. We do have one more store to hit up because Aldi doesn't always have everything. So there's just a few more things we have to get on the list. We might go to Walmart or something. I don't know. But I hope you like this video. See you guys next time. Bye. Tell them bye. Bye, bye, bye. You gonna give him a kiss? Give him a kiss. Mm.